Hey everybody, welcome back to another Tapping Tuesday. I'm Dr. Angie Anderson and as always I am super excited to be back with you again to bring yet another tapping series. Um, this time we're going to be tapping into confidence. So if you haven't been following along, I would highly encourage you to go back, especially if emotional freedom technique is something new for you to be able to go back and see what it's all about and how does this crazy stuff work. So go back and check that out. And um, I invite you to please share, like, and comment to help get this out to somebody that might need it. Um, even if they're not on Facebook, I would encourage you all to go to my website at drangieanderson.com, drangieanderson.com. My fabulous husband has put on a new tab where all of the Tapping Tuesdays sessions will go on there for you for free. So you help me by sharing, liking, and comment. So please help me out, small businesses, okay? So please take a moment to do that. All right, so let's get started. Without further ado, today we are going to tap into confidence. So this is a way for us to look at I am confident, all things will work out even when I'm struggling, okay? That's the self-affirmation that we're going to be tapping on today. So take a moment to set nice and posture, nice in your posture. If you would like to do this in a reclined position, you're welcome to do that as well. So I'm gonna invite you to take a moment to think about something in your current life and situation that you might be struggling with on developing and enhancing your confidence. What is going on in your life where you need to tap into a little bit of confidence? So as we tap today, I would invite you to bring this into your mind, body, and spirit. So take a moment again to sit up good into your posture or be comfortable in your reclined position and take a big cleansing breath in and then slowly exhale. And then as you go into it, we're just going to slowly start to tap on the crown of our head, taking a moment to pay attention to our mindset, what happens to sabotage our confidence so that we can release that thought and take a moment to make a little bit more room to have a little bit more constructive thinking to help us build that confidence. And then take a moment to move to, as my yogis know, this is the third eye space. So this is an opportunity for us to be a little bit more open-minded a little bit more focused on enhancing our ability to put ourselves in situations that will build up our confidence or maybe even it's just to say yes a little bit more instead of saying no. Look at opportunities where that might work for you. And then we're gonna move to the side of the eye, one hand or two hands to be a little bit more open awareness in our mindset as well as our eyes to see where we are being more confident but also see ourselves visualize ourselves into a confident mindset confident situation all right take a moment to now tap at your cheek your sinus cavities this is an area that goes straight to our belly space and this is for us to listen to our gut. So again, maybe setting boundaries with ourselves to say yes to situations that will help us enhance our confidence, but also to say no when we need to say no, because we might not have the energy when we're struggling and to know that it's okay to rest when we need to rest. And then take a moment to go right below the nose, upper lip, this is um, being mindful of the words that come out of our mouth so that we can be more confident in our approach, be more confident in the way we speak to ourselves so that we can be a little bit more kind, a little bit more compassionate towards ourselves. And then going to the lower lip, still being mindful of our talk how we say things to ourselves, but how we also speak to others 
and to the universe. So we are manifesting opportunities that come into our lives to reinforce that confidence. And then going to the collarbone, the chest. This is all about confidence right here. So I want you to puff out your chest. I want you to be very confident in your approach with your situation and yourself so that you can be bold where you need to be bold. And then going to underneath the ribs, take a moment to tap into that. This is gonna be lifting up our ribs, going right at that karate chop point, relaxing through the shoulders so that we can pay a little bit more attention to being cold, bold and confident there. And then going right to the center of our chest. We're gonna add that one today because this is another one to build up energy. So when you're tapping on something that wants to enhance energy, like confidence manifesting that into our lives, we wanna be mindful of that. So take a moment to soften your shoulders and take a big breath in. And then slowly exhale as you release that. One more big cleansing breath in and exhale so namaste everyone hope you are approaching a little bit more into confidence a little bit more being bold and empowered today so stay healthy stay well i'll see you all next week take good care bye everybody